You are welcome to GST 104, the use of library. I am Dr. Angela Ebele Opala. I will be taking you through module 3, unit 1, library catalogs. Now, I want us to look at the purpose. Why do we need a library catalog? And why do we need this particular module? The purpose of this module is to help students master the different catalogs the in the library to avoid confusion on how to get started, seeing the volumes of materials in the library. Researchers actually can be discouraged and frustrated when a library does not have a catalog. And this is worst off if there is a catalog, but the researcher cannot understand the coding system used to organize the materials. This is the reason why this module is not just presenting the catalogs, but also we present the main classes of the various classification schemes. Now let's look at the definition of a catalog. Library catalog is seen as a complete organized record of all libraries content. In other words, it is a list of all bibliographic items found in a library or group of libraries. The library catalog can be likened to a book index, just as the purpose of a book index is to point the reader to an information in the book without reading the whole book. Similarly, the library catalog points the reader to the exact location of the book on the shelf without having to search through all volumes of books on the shelf. The librarians when processing a resource material provides the information with many access points as required by library users who may look for the information in the library. What are access points? Access points are headings that users employ in order to locate needed materials. Examples are title, author, and subject. This means that the user can search and assess the needed material through these access points. Now, there are different types of catalogs. We have book catalog, card catalog, microform catalog, online catalog, which is called OPAC. Let's look at the definition of book catalog. A book catalog lists bibliographic records in alphabetical order by various entries on pages of a book. This is the oldest type of catalog. It is very easy to use and it's very portable. The book catalog is expensive to produce and easily gets out of date due to its inflexibility. You cannot easily remove or insert bibliographic records. For more people to have access at the same time, the library may need to print many copies, which is of course expensive. This type of catalog has been gradually replaced by card catalogs. Now let's look at the card catalog itself. A card catalog is a file of loose cards, usually in catalog cabinets, showing the users the library collections. The card, cards give, the card catalogs give very re relevant information about the books in the library, as well as indicating their location on the shelves. These cards are filed alphabetically in catalog trays that are placed in the cabinet. These cabinets are arranged in a convenient location in the library. Microform catalogs. These are photographed card catalog or screen images that are transferred in onto microform. Basically, they are used as backup as online catalogs have overtaken them. Online public access catalog called OPAC. An online public access catalog known as OPAC is the most modern form of catalog. One needs a microcomputer with a large memory for it. Bibliographic records of all documents in a collection are stored in the computer memory disk. OPAC is the most efficient of all the catalogs. It is very flexible and can be easily updated. The records can be accessed through several points. As soon as bibliographic records are 
imputed into the computer, they can be accessed instantly at different points. Many online library catalogs, such as Library of Congress Online, can be accessed through the internet. In conclusion, most libraries keep only one particular type of catalog. The different types of catalogs have their advantages and disadvantages. As students, onus is on you to learn how to use them. However, whenever you need help, don't hesitate to call on the librarian. I hope you, uh, you understood the lecture. I will be taking you in the next module, module three, unit two, library classifications. Thank you.